Hi, thanks for being with us. I'm Tracy Christensen, your host on Community Connection. Our community has so much to offer when it comes to religion and the arts. Today, Marion Howe Taylor from the Cathedral of the Madeline joins me to tell us about activities that will be occurring in that beautiful and historic building. Thanks so much for being with us, Marion. Thank you. The Festival of the Madeline is coming up. Tell mm -hmm. us about that event and what will happen. It'll run this year, April through May, and um, we've got concerts that feature, you know, the classics, Bach, <laughs> to Val Capers performing jazz. So it ought to be very interesting this year. And what's the purpose of the festival? Uh, Monsignor Mannion began the festival in 1998. Yeah, no, 1988, sorry. And it was to provide an opportunity for the community to have access free of charge to the arts and humanities. So that was the goal, service to the community. That's wonderful, mm -hmm. and, and like you say, it provides a great variety of different kinds of music in a wonderful setting, because of yes. course the cathedral is Just a historic gorgeous. site in Utah. Yes, it is. So beautiful. Yes, it is. And people can tour uh, Monday through Saturday, I believe, um, but they should visit the website for times. And that's all through the year, not just during that's the festival That's all time. through the year. And there are concerts, there's the Eccles uh, Organ Festival and um, the choir from the school, the Cathedral of the Madeline Choir School performs around Christmas. So it's, it's a fabulous place for music. Really a mm -hmm. center for the arts and humanity, just like he, yes. he envisioned. And how did you get to be involved with the festival? I got to be involved with the festival in 1999 with a project called More Tenors, Sylvia Olden Lee's More Tenors. Uh, and Sylvia Olden Lee, who has passed, she's no longer with us, in her 80s, wanted to do something for tenors, classical tenors. She was the first African-American staff member at the Met, preparing operas and working with James Levine and um, people like uh, then director in 1950s, Paul Carafe. She kind of nudged him into opening the doors for African Americans with Marian Anderson performing the role of Eureka in Mass Ball. And so she'd been there forever and been able to do things for uh, women uh, and men, baritones, basses, but not really tenors. And so she was really interested in doing something fabulous for them. And so we worked on a project for a number of years. It's called Sylvia Olden Lee's More Tenors, and it debuted here in Salt Lake and then other places throughout the country, and it was really great. And so you've just been mm -hmm. doing music at the cathedral I've just cathedral been doing music ever since, ever since with the cathedral. That's, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. What's one of the highlights for you of the festival? Um, this year it will probably be Val Capers, jazz, jazz and improvisation, performing with actually musicians here from Brigham Young University, uh, from the faculty. So I right. think that's going to be a highlight this year. That is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for the service that you do there mm -hmm. and for all those who are involved with the Cathedral of the Madeline and what they provide year-round for our community. And we appreciate you being with us today. Okay. Thank you. Here at 11, it's our privilege to bring you information about cultural events that take place and like those at the Cathedral of the Madeline. If you want to learn more about those activities, you can visit kbyu11.org and click on the community tab. It will send you to links at the Cathedral of the Madeline. Thanks so much for watching us. Please join us next time on Community Connection.